It is, isn't it? You're the Knight of Light. Perhaps you could help me where others could not. That depends on what you want me to do. So who are you? Perhaps you have heard of me and my work. I am the man who uses forbidden alchemy to create the ensorcelled machine. Alchemists investigate the very essence of souls and life, the original natural philosophers. Alchemy is an ancient discipline with many rules and laws. And it pains me to confess I broke one of the most sacrosanct taboos of all. Look, if it's forgiveness you're after, why don't you talk to the priests? I seek redemption, but no priest can provide it. Behold, the fruits of my crime, the sorcery machine that I created. That's your doing? That thing powered by chaos? I had a feeling you'd understand. You could see its essence, can't you? Please, help me. Help us all. You have to destroy that thing. Already countless brave warriors have lost their lives at its hands. are not gonna end until someone stops that thing. And it looks like that someone has to be me. Thank you. You're my last hope. Although I built the accursed thing, I am powerless to stop it. It's grown far stronger than I ever imagined it would. With each victory, it consumes the soul of its victim, and thus it grows more powerful. salvation. has been defeated, and at last his soul can rest in peace. You have saved him. You talk about that machine as if it was a living thing. Do you think machines have souls? No, of course not. But that one, it was special. It was not like any other machine in the world. The truth is, my brother's soul was inside it. Your brother? It was my doing. Alchemy was the key. It was forbidden magic. I knew that, but I yearned to try it. I took the soul of my living brother and placed it inside the machine. That's madness. Why would you do something like that? When people stopped dying of old age, I lost sense of the true value of life. When I carried out that experiment, it wasn't just my brother who died. Now that my brother's soul has been released at last, there's only one thing left for me. I must pay the ultimate price. You want to believe that dying will absolve you, but you know that's not true. It's the coward's way out, that's all. If you really care about redemption, then you have no choice but to keep on living. You have to regret what you did for the rest of your life, until the end comes. And if I do that, if I live for eternity, suffering the guilt of my crime, will I find forgiveness in the end? Will the guilt ever be lifted? I wish I could promise it will, but either way, you owe it to yourself and the men who died, whether or not it brings forgiveness. 